So, you have a boolean in your third person blueprint, and you want to send it to your animation blueprint to trigger some movement animations. Not a problem. I have a blueprint called defend, and when defend is active, I want my character to move into a defensive animation. Go to your animation blueprint, then go down and add override function and blueprint thread safe update animation. Save, add, function, third person blueprint, save, and drag out a cast to third person blueprint. Right click, property axis, try to get pawn owner, connect it, drag out a return node, duplicate, and connect them like so. And change the top one to return value, and under advanced, change it to thread safe, and hit pure. Save, then go to the animation graph, double click it, and from entry, drag out a state. Name it defend, then drag it back into itself, double click over here, then on the left, add variable, name it ABP defend, drag it out, get, and drag it into the result. Then go back to the new state machine and click the other side, then get the boolean and drag out a not boolean. Connect it to the result, save, then go to the state machine. So now when it's defending, it'll go down, and when it's not defending, it'll go up. And under functions, under blueprint thread safe update animation, add function, name it update third person character blueprint variables, click it, check thread safe, save, right click, property access, then get the third person blueprint, and now you have access to all the variables in your third person blueprint. We want the defend boolean, so we'll click it, then drag it out, Set the defend boolean, save, then in the blueprint thread safe tab, drag the update third person variable function here. Connect it, you're done. And now anytime our boolean in our third person character changes, it will also change in the ABP Manny animation blueprint. Okay, so from this point to activate the boolean to switch between defend and not defend, I just went into edit, project settings, inputs, and I have an action called defend, and it is controlled with the right mouse button. Now this is not optimal, but for the sake of the tutorial, it works. Regardless, you can use whatever control system you want. For me, if I go back into the third person blueprint and I right click, now I'll have a type called defend. From here, we drag out our boolean and we say, when defend is pressed, defend equals true, and when defend is released, set defend to false. Save, then go back to the ABP Manny, and in the animation graph under locomotion, go into defend and drag in your defense animation straight into the graph. Connect it like so, and you're done. Congratulations. Now when you press defend, the defend animation will kick in. And when you release it, it'll go back to idle. Hope that helps, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.